Hello, my name is Lindsay Green, Customer Success Manager at Empower. Thank you for watching our Getting Started with Envision presentation. You should have already received an invitation to your environment from notifications at mail.empowerenvision.com. To activate your account and access the system, click on the link in the email. A new internet browser will open and you may want to bookmark your subdomain so it's always one click away. A bookmark is a saved shortcut that directs your browser to a specific web page. Your email will automatically parse in the email field, but you'll need to enter a unique password and log in for the first time. Your computer may prompt you to save your credentials, and you can do so if you wish. The dashboard is the initial landing page upon login to the system. The dashboard is made up of widgets, which are configurable display boxes that show key aspects of your strategic plan. You will notice a preloaded plan called Scoops in the My Strategic Plans widget. Scoops is a fictitious ice cream company we created for demo purposes. If you click on Scoops, you will be brought to the Strategy Overview page. The Strategy Overview is an intuitive way to communicate your plan and connect your employees to the overall vision and mission of your organization. At the top of the Strategy Overview page, you will see real-time health and data on your plan. The health is broken down by percentage, indicating how much of your plan is healthy, at risk, critical, and even idle. Users can drill down into the health to see all the items with that indicated health. You are also able to see how many action items are past due and the number of progress notes being entered. Scrolling down is where the real magic begins. By default, you will see the strategy map. Sometimes you might hear it referred to as the sunburst. The sunburst is a great visual way to see the health of your entire organization from one screen. In the Scoops plan, we have added an example of each layer of the cascading strategic plan model, segment, strategy, objective, tactics, and action items. But don't worry, if your plan is not that complex, you can have just three or four layers, keeping in mind that the objective and tactic layers are as needed. If you would like to practice adding layers to a plan, you can do so in the Scoops demo environment. Scrolling down, you will see there are two ways to view the layers of your plan, this card view or our newly added grid view. If you select the grid view, the system will remember your preference as you drill deeper into the plan. What's nice about either view is the ability to see how many strategies are under each segment. For example, in our home segment, you will see there are three strategies within it. To view the three strategies, click on the segment name. The strategies will then reflect in the view of your choosing, again, showing how many objectives are under those strategies. If you see a plus sign, it simply means there are no objectives or tactics added yet under that specific strategy. To add an objective, click the plus sign and so on. Once you have had a chance to practice in the Scoops demo environment, you'll be ready to create your own plan. Click on the logo to redirect back to the dashboard. Click the plus sign, Create New Strategic Plan. Our five-step wizard will walk you through entering your plan. Step one of the wizard is to name your strategic plan. You can either add users now, or wait until your plan is created in Envision. If you decide to add users now, simply click the plus sign and add their information. Please note, if you add users in the beginning, they will not receive the invitation to your plan until it is complete via the wizard. Step two outlines the structure of how your plan could be organized in the software. The software is flexible enough where different paths of the plan can have three, four, or five layers, depending on how complex your plan is. When breaking down your strategic plan, the first level is comprised of segments. You can segment in a variety of ways, 
by department, by shared values, verticals your company serves, or customer benefits. From each segment, you will continue to break them down into specific strategies, asking yourself, what is the method by which you will accomplish important goals within each segment? Strategy should include both the method and the broad goal. Once you have your segments and strategies defined, the next layer, objective, is completely optional depending again how detailed your plan is. This is not a required field, however, if needed, an objective further breaks down a strategy into individual goals that are clear and measurable. Put your target goal in the description so it is clear to your team what this objective will look like once the tactics and action items beneath it are complete. A tactic is the specific accomplishment that should happen in order to successfully achieve the objective or strategy. This is also not a required field, but can be added if additional breakdown of a strategy or objective is needed. Action items are specific tasks you must complete in order to contribute to the overall success of a segment. Please note, key performance indicators and critical success factors are additional items that can be added later in your plan. Step 3. Here, you will add your vision, mission, and values. These fields are not required to be filled out now and can be inputted later. If you need help creating your vision, mission, and values, simply click the applicable box, and the language on the right will change to offer guidance on the specific topic. Step four is where you will build your plan. To add your first segment, click the plus sign, Name your segment. The owner will default to the account owner. However, you can assign another user if you added them in step one. The tag name will automatically fill in based on the segment name, or you can personalize it to be something else. This tag name will help you quickly search for all entities with that specific tag. Add a brief description of your segment. This description could include things like SMART goals. SMART goals are targets that are specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. This gives your team a foundation for which to base all of their focus and decision-making on. Add a strategy to the segment. Name your strategy. Add a brief description to your strategy. Remember, this is where you will state the method by which you will accomplish important goals. The method could simply be a procedure or system used to accomplish something. Categorization tags are key words that can be added to entities to make them easier to group and find when using the search function. For example, a marketing tag can be added to all entities that relate to marketing that may not necessarily be in the marketing segment. Next, I will ask myself, do I need to further break down this strategy into even more specific measurable goals? If the answer is yes, add an objective. Name your objective. Your description will include the criteria you've established to measure progress towards attainment of your goal. Ask yourself, how will I be able to prove that I completed this objective? The final layers are tactics and actions. You may have tactics that require specific actions, or you can jump right into adding action items, which is what we'll do here. Name your action item. Set your status. Pending means awaiting the start, progress, there is forward movement on that item, on hold, something has possibly been put off or delayed, canceled, it's no longer happening, and closed when an action item is complete. Set the current health of this action item. Green, it's on schedule, on budget, I will meet my target date. Yellow, there is a potential issue, but can be saved with some corrective actions. 
red critical. I need additional resources or time. I will not meet my target date. And gray means idle, not actively working on. Describe the action item by documenting what specific event, task, or activity needs to take place. Frequency is how often Envision will remind the owner that a progress note is due. Setting an appropriate frequency is important. For example, if an action item has a target date of eight months away, setting a weekly frequency is counterintuitive because you may not have a weekly update. A more appropriate frequency would be monthly, and once the target date gets a little closer, the owner can adjust the frequency to weekly. You can adjust the priority of items low, medium, and high, and also set a sensitivity level to items that may require additional restrictions. The start date will default to the day an action item is opened, but you can set this date behind if it's already started or to the future if, say, a project won't start for another month. The target date is exactly that, the date set for completion of this action item, and the close date will be filled out once the item is complete. Once you have entered your plan, click Complete. At this point, on-screen and email notifications for all users will be activated along with the digest summary report. This report is sent via email to all users on a weekly basis. It includes an overview of any progress notes entered, target dates that were changed, and status updates made by all plan users. The most important thing we are doing here is breaking down silos between departments and providing the transparent communication we all long for. We encourage users to not think of Envision as a tool they need to log in and maintain on a daily basis. If we're being honest, most of us already have several programs we use in our daily routines. Envision was designed with in-app notifications and reminders which in turn drive engagement. If you added users in step one of the wizard, they will now receive an invitation to your plan. Let's see it happen. Now, instead of seeing the Scoop Strategy Overview, you will see your plan's overview. Taking you back to the dashboard, I want to show you how easy it is to configure your widgets. At this point, you may not have any reminders in your Reminders widget, but as your plan grows, you will see items that require an update, are current, coming due, due today, or are late. If you have multiple plans, you can have a widget for each. Flip the widget over by clicking the icon in the upper right corner. Select the plan that you want this specific widget to reflect and save. The widget will flip back over. To add and move widgets, click on the widget icon. To add a widget, click the plus sign. Select the widget that you'd like to add then click the check button. The new widget will then appear on your dashboard. To move a widget, click and hold on the widget name, drag and drop it to its new location. When you're finished, click the X icon to save your changes. Shifting gears, I want to show you how to add a progress note to an item in your plan. Looking at the My Work widget, select the item that you'd like to update. In the right drawer, you will see a clipboard. Click the plus sign to add a progress note. Type in the progress you've made on that item. If you worked with a teammate on something or want another user to receive a notification of your note, type the at symbol and start to type their name. As long as they are a user in your plan, the system will detect and fill in their name. Box, Dropbox, Google Drive, and OneDrive are all available to integrate into your strategic plan. We have knowledge-based articles available that you can look through which shows how to enable these integrations. Select which storage platform your file is saved in, attach the document, and it will appear under Attachments. Hit Publish and your new progress note will be added. 
General attachments like meeting agendas or notes can be saved here. To see the history on this plan layer, select History. Sometimes you may want to share a webinar or best practice article with your teammates. You can link things like that under Related Links. Simply paste the URL in the link field and type in the name of that item. To save, click Publish. To collaborate on an item that you may not own, click the plus sign and type in your name. Hit Save. You will then see the number of collaborators on that item. We do have several resources available to all users. Click Need Help in the lower right corner. We have interactive on-screen tutorials and knowledge-based articles, as well as a service desk function where you can request support from our support team. Another way to request support is by emailing support at empower.com. Finally, we are always looking for ways to enhance Envision. If you are ever in Envision and think to yourself, man, I wish it could do this, suggest a feature to our product team. At Empower, we pride ourselves on being receptive and responsive to customer feedback. To date, our product team has released over 30 customer suggested features with more already approved for future release. On that note, by being a user of Envision, you will receive our monthly product release emails outlining what we've been working on so you're always in the know. In tandem with the email, you will be invited to watch a quick webinar demonstrating the monthly updates. On behalf of Empower, I'd like to welcome you to Envision and thank you for joining today.